Hello, are you using voice profiles? The voice profiles allow your Echo to recognize you when you speak. In this video, I'll show you how you could use that and also how to set it up. But first, I wanna say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk. I love learning about this kind of stuff and sharing it with you. So if you have any comments or questions, please share them. Also, check out the description. There's links to the Echo. You can find out more information about them or buy one. Before we dive into this, I do want to say I changed my the name of my Echo to computer. That way I don't trigger your device at home and nobody gets upset. Let's get started. What is a voice profile? A voice profile can be set up so your Echo will recognize you when you speak. Now this is great when you have multiple people in a house, you can each set up your own profile. Uh, so when you speak, you get a more customized experience out of your Echo. Once everybody has a voice profile set up, the first place that you find that you can use it would be in Alexa messaging. If you're not familiar with Alexa messaging, click the link here and that'll take you to my video that I made last week on how to use Alexa messaging. But basically, uh, Alexa messaging, you will be able to have a individual mailbox for each person in the household and you'll be able to send messages from each individual and receive individual messages, which is great. So if I just want to send a message right now and say, computer, send Craig Paulson a message. Okay, Craig, what's the message for Craig Paulson? How are you today? Sending. So now that I've sent that message, it's gonna show up in my mailbox. And now if I go, computer, play my messages. Craig, you have one message from Craig Paulson. How are you today? It went right to my message in my mailbox there because it recognized my voice. Had it been my wife, it would have gone right to her mailbox. Now no, if no profile set up, It'll ask, do you want to check the messages in Craig's or do you want to check the messages in Cheryl's? But uh, so they're not necessarily secure. But if everybody in the house has their own setup, it's just going to default to their own message. Now, a great thing too with that is once it recognizes it's you, when you do send a message, it's going to show that it's coming from you and not necessarily from the account holder that set up the Echo. So everybody can send messages and you know exactly who they're coming from if you do use Alexa messaging within your household. The second place that you can use uh, your voice profile would be in making calls with Alexa calling. It'll use the contact information, the phone that was used to set up that member of the household. For example, if you were to say, call mom for one person, for the teenager in the house, that might be the mother in the house. Well, for the mother in the house, when she says call mom, it might be calling grandma, which is great. But if you use the same phone to set up everybody's information it's going to associate those contacts with all the different users in there so really uh, i would say that it starts to benefit with people that have you know multiple cell phones like multiple adults or teenagers that have phones that could come in handy there the third place that you can use your voice profile to get a customized experience is with music you do have to have an Amazon Prime unlimited family plan for music, and you do have to set up individual profiles for each person in the household under that family plan. And once you do that, if you say play music, it's going to play music that customized to you, or it's gonna play from your playlist that you set up under your Amazon unlimited family music account. So unfortunately that isn't opened up to any, one, any other music service, it's only Music Unlimited. The fourth way it could be used is with flash briefings. If you have voice profiles set up, when you ask to have your flash briefing play, it will play and then when, if for some reason you stop and you come back to it later, it won't play the stories you've already listened to, which is nice. You don't have to go through all of those again. If you're someone that uses your Echo to make purchases and you have little people in the house and you don't want them ordering stuff, you can set up a pin that you say so that it'll know that it's a legitimate purchase. But if you set up a voice profile, you don't have to say a pin. It'll recognize your voice and that you're authorized to make purchases and it'll make a purchase. So no unauthorized purchases, which would be good. Uh, but 
other than that, that's pretty much all you can do with it at this point. Next step, we're going to set this thing up. To set up voice profiles, let's take it to the very beginning and make sure that we have the user in there first that we want. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sign into your Amazon account. Once you're signed in, it's going to take you to this screen, the getting started. And this is where it's gonna tell you about the call and messaging. Uh, we'll hit get started. Now here you'll see there's my name, my wife's, and then I had a test one. I don't know how to delete them at this point. So I'm gonna say that I'm someone else. And if you were just starting off, it should say your name as the only person on top because you would have just opened, set up this device. But since I've invited my wife and I've already made one, we're gonna go to I'm someone else. So we'll just say I am Tess T. Kind of funny um think about it i'm going to skip this i'm not going to put a phone number in now but now we're set up there's a new user for that so now from here we have a uh, test t set up and we'll you would go under settings you'll scroll down to where you see your voice and here this explains basically what I told you before, how you'll be able to use it with calling and messaging and voice shopping. It doesn't mention on here that you'll get the customized uh, flash briefing, but that was something that I read online. Let's hit begin. It's gonna tell you, you're gonna need to pick your de device that you're gonna train your voice with. I'm going to select this device right here, which is the Office Echo. I am ready to learn your voice. You'll need to speak to me from a typical distance and make sure to mute other nearby devices. To start, hit next in your Alexa app. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna step through and you're gonna repeat phrases. And once you start the repeating the phrases, you need to just kind of say each one and then hit the next button, say each one, hit the next button. There's 10 total, I believe. I'm gonna start this. I'm not gonna go through them all and have you listen to them all, but here's the first couple. Computer, my name is Test. Computer, play Hot Stuff by Donna Summer on Prime. Computer, order Treasure Island. Test, great job. It's like, why is she calling me Test? I'm like, that's the username. So that's how you'd go through and you would set up a new profile. Uh, now you can do that with each member of a household on their phone and then their contacts will sync up. You're basically gonna get permission of that. That's one thing I realized since I didn't do a completely fresh install, it didn't ask for permission to use my contacts. That's something you'll experience if you're doing it fresh. Now if you wanted to go through and add another user to it, you can easily go under your settings. You would sign out. Yes, sign out. And then you'll find that you're gonna be right back at the login screen. So you would start that process over and add another user. So if you did wanna create it for people who didn't have their own uh, cell phones, uh, younger kids and all that, you could just use your device and set up their own profiles that way. Okay, that sums up voice profiles. Uh, they don't do a lot at this point in time, but if you have an Echo and you got multiple people in the house, why not set it up? Why not have the device as customized to you as possible? Um, makes sense to me. Hopefully they'll expand some of the features on it and it'll grow in functionality, but in the meantime, just set it up so it's ready to go. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go for it. Subscribe, stick around, check out future videos. I'll be making another Echo video next week and I've already made, I believe, eight other ones before this that you could check out. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, bye.